गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट सेकेंड चैप्टर ऑफ एनुअल एग्जाम पोर्सन दैट इज लाइट एंड टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट रेक्टिलीनियर प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ लाइट यू मस्ट हैव स्टडीड इन क्लास सिक्स दैट लाइट ट्रेवल्स इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड दिस इज नोन एज रेक्टिलीनियर प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ लाइट वी कैन परफॉर्म फ्यू एक्टिविटीज विच शो रेक्टिलीनियर प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ लाइट फर्स्ट एक्टिविटीज Let us use a piece of pipe or a long rubber tube. We can light a candle and fix it on a table at one end of the room. And now, standing at other end of the room, we can try to look at the candle through the pipe. And we see that we are able to see the flame of the candle. Now, we have to bend the pipe a little while. looking at the candle now we see that candle is not visible now now you can turn the pipe a little to your right or left now also you observe that you are not able to see the flame of candle so what can we conclude from this activity this shows that light travels along a straight line there is one more activity which shows this uh, rectilinear propagation of light and for this activity we take three square pieces of cardboard and make them stand straight on a table using wooden supports we have to make holes in them at exactly the same level we have to keep a burning candle on the table with its flame at the level of the holes now we have to adjust the cardboard such that we can see the candle flame through the holes we find that the flame can only be seen when the holes are exactly in a straight line if we disturb one of the cardboards we are not able to see the candle flame so these two experiments verify the rectilinear propagation of light now one question arises can we change the path of light what happens when light falls on a polished or a shiny surface one way to change the direction of light is to let it fall on a shiny surface for example a shining stainless steel plate or a steel spoon can change the direction of light the surface of water can also act like a mirror and change the path of light a mirror bounces off light from its surface and this bouncing off of light from a surface is known as reflection of light by turning the mirror we can reflect light in different directions when we look in a mirror we see an image of ourselves that is our reflection if we try reflecting sunlight using a metal foil a sheet of white paper or an object such as a stone which of these reflects light in the same way as a mirror we will find that only the metal foil does show though not to the same extent as the mirror but do you know children what a plane mirror is it is a plain sheet of glass with a silver coating on one side it is because of the shiny silver coating that it reflects most of the light that falls on it in addition to being flat and smooth a good reflecting surface must be shiny metal is a good reflector of light but it is difficult to make its surface perfectly flat a smooth shiny surface is a good reflector of light as it reflects the entire beam of light falling on it in one direction only this is called regular reflection however the surfaces of most objects around us are not so smooth when the rays in a beam of light fall on an object with an uneven surface they get reflected in different directions this is called irregular or diffused reflection we can see objects 
when light reflected by them fall on our eyes it is because of irregular reflection that we can see objects from every direction irregular reflection of sunlight by objects around us enables our room to have light during the day even if sunlight does not directly fall into it let us perform one activity we take a torch cover its glass with a chart paper which has three slits as shown in figure we have to spread a sheet of chart paper on a smooth wooden board and fix a plain mirror strip vertically on the chart paper now we direct the beam of light on the mirror from the torch with slits now we place the torch in such a way that its light is seen along the chart paper on the board now we adjust its position so that the light from the torch strikes the plain paper paper plain mirror from the torch strikes the plain mirror at an angle we observe that the mirror changes the direction of light that fall on it now if we move the torch slightly to either side we find change in the direction of reflected light if we look into the mirror along the direction of the reflected light we see the slits in the mirror this is the image of the slits so this activity shows how light gets reflected from a plain mirror this activity shows how light gets reflected from a plain mirror okay, thank you children